morning. Oh, how you doing? Hope you're having a wonderful day. I am feeling very, very, very drained. And it concerns me. Because this has been like an ongoing thing. I thought it might have been a health issue. There, there's always health issues, right? Because I'm getting older. The gray, right? He's done still have hair. He's <laughs> just gray as hell. Ugh. Somebody's leeching on my energy hard. And I talked about before in past videos about how each of us, each individual human being is a machine. We have energy. We, we conduct energy. We, a lot of people don't conduct energy. A lot of people are just vampires. A lot of people don't have the ability to conduct energy for themselves, so they vamp on other people, which is kind of what I talk about. I could, when I talk about vampires, people that you're around for a while and next you know you just you just feel absolutely fucking drained emotionally, physically, and you you know you could be in great shape, great health, had a great meal, you know, doing exercise, but when you're around these people or individual, they drain your 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 essence. For lack of a better word, it's your essence. It's who you are. It's your it's your energy. So somebody's tapped into my energy, and they're, it's probably through one of my, these videos. That's, there's links of how you can tap into people. Like I said, send an email, stuff like that. Send text messages. These are all, you know, if you respond, these are all ways to, to get a connection. There are some connections that go beyond this, like when you have past lovers, bonds that, that you can't break. They're just, they're there. That's why... I think it sucks that in school they don't teach this kind of thing to children. That you have boundaries, that you have energy that you exude and you consume other people's energy and you don't, you have to protect it. Even as a kid, you have to protect your energy and know right and wrong. When you start having relationships with other human beings, know that their energy is correct or you're just going to be bonding yourself to a toxic human being and you're going to spend the rest of your life feeling that bond. I'm bonded to somebody. It wasn't intentional, but I bonded to an individual and that bond is unbreakable, period. And that's what they're having a hard time, I'm sure, understanding. Because they're probably thinking about me a lot and it's probably pissing them off and they don't like it and they probably don't like me anymore anyway, but it's not gonna end. It's, they're, I'm not, they're not gonna stop thinking about me and I feel bad about that. Because it's, it goes both ways. I have to focus and concentrate my energy on everything but them. Because I feel it. It's really bizarre. Like I said, don't don't fall into that soulmate twin flame energy unless you're really to, ready to deal with the consequences of it. Like just like having sexual relations with people, you gotta deal with the consequences of, you know, getting herpes that don't go away. And this is kind of like in a a spiritual herpes and we're that's a terrible comparison because it's spirituality is a little bit deeper and more not as disgusting but but it's kind of like that it's like you're not going to get rid of it i'm never going to get rid of her she's always going to be a part we're always going to be bonded it's just the way it is she made the mistake of bonding with me too it's not it takes two to tango so it's not just my fault we bonded with each other and ne neither of us were understanding of the power and we were both ignorant and she's draining the shit out of my energy right now. It sucks. I wish I could. And she can't. I tried to communicate with her a couple times. Just so we could clear the air and just fucking get this over with. Right? You know, I forgive you. You forgive me. Walk on and live your fucking life, man. You know, and the sad part is it's, it's all based on love. I love her and I will always love her. And that's the shit part of it. I will always love her. And that's going to be the shit part of it. Having to lift out somebody you love. And then it becomes this toxic fucking mess. I don't know. If she heals herself, so she finally becomes healed and realizes and wake up as to what she's doing, then maybe there will be a chance for us to both have some kind of peace in this life. But until she heals herself, she's not healed because I'm not healed. I'm, I'm as healed as I can get on my own spiritually. But my other half is not healed and she's not trying to heal. I hope she's trying to heal, which means she's gonna have to quit drinking. Yeah, that was her, I think that might have been one of her big things. She's gonna have to quit drinking and quit fucking people that you're not supposed to fuck. Keep your legs together, kid. That would be my advice to the other half of me. I mean, we might not be together in this life again, that's fine. I'm just gonna say what it is. It's, it's, 
this is my tale of woe, you know, when it comes to uh, soulmate connections and contacts and, and bonds. So be careful who you bond with. Be careful who you allow into your space. Be careful who you love because it could just turn into a fucking Greek tragedy. I have hope that she'll find her way and she'll love herself and then she'll heal herself through herself by loving herself. It ain't about me. I can't love her. I've, I've loved her as much as I can and she rejected that. So I, fuck, what are you supposed to do with that, right? You give somebody your heart and they say, well, you know, that's nice. <laughs> so you move on and you, you grow and you accept and you, you s survive. And I'm, I've, I, 10 years, it took me a long time to get out of that, just to be able to, some semblance of happiness, some semblance of peace. This is me with peace in my life. And trust me, you wouldn't have seen these videos five years ago. I would never have done a video. Six years ago, seven, and I just was not in any kind of headspace to do anything positive for anybody, especially myself. So now that I'm in a hot, positive space for myself, I want everybody else to feel that too. That's part of my job, is to think positive and focus positive and, and generate positive. And I'm just praying this chick re watches my videos. So one, I mean, fuck, feel free to stop for just five seconds so you can realize we need to fucking clear the air and get this over with so I can move the fuck on and have some, you know, find joy in my life somewhere. You know what I mean? And that probably is not going to be with somebody else, which sucks even more because I'm not going to do this to somebody else what was done to me. I'm not going to have somebody hand me their heart and me not be able to accept it properly because that's bullshit too. <sighs> I know it's kind of heavy, right? It's what it is. It's, it's, it's the, I was told by my, my spirit guides to sigh no more. Sing hey nani nani. Unless you're a Shakespeare fan, you won't understand what that means. But I think it's time to sigh no more. Sing hey nani nani, baby. Have a wonderful day. I love you, God loves you, and the universe is still with you. So good luck with your self-healing. Good luck with your energy and protect it. And remember, people are gonna vamp on you, so watch yourself. And stay high vibration, stay positive. Think happy thoughts in your fly, babe. Anyway, have a wonderful day.